We've always had really good sets, but they really were elevated this season. You walk in, you're like, wow, this is epic in scale. As you can see, everything looks fantastic. We get to explore new locations that exist in Metropolis that we otherwise have never seen before. What I love about this season is how we dive into horror. We have blood, knives, a lot of the horror imagery that we hadn't been able to use before that we used in season one with Raven, but we haven't been able to go back to it. And that has been a lot of fun on a technical level and exciting on a storytelling level. Metropolis is the birthplace of Connor. It's the home of Superman. It's also the home of Lex Luthor. And in contrast to Gotham, it's kind of perceived as, I guess, a lot brighter, more hopeful place to be. It's a city that looks to the future and there's beautiful parks and Superman's flying through the sky, saving people. We really believe that coming out of season three, which was emerging from the darkness of Gotham, that the Titans needed to move towards light. And in the DC world, Metropolis is light. There's a long history of Toronto being kind of the visual model for Metropolis in the books. We have lots of tall glass buildings, clean lines, great architecture. But to create Metropolis, we have to find its identity. And to me, Metropolis' identity lies within Star Labs. Scientific, technological, advanced research laboratories. Built by Garrison Slate in 1971. That was my first line that I learned about 30 times. There's a lot of it. <laughs> Star Labs is like the tech center of the DC universe. It's the most super secret, coolest Apple lab you wish you could see that you've never been to. The comic book version has more of a rectangular box shape, whereas ours is more of a circular environment. We want it to just really represent the galaxy and space, which is all about Superman. The underlit floor of the set is actually a reuse of Deathstroke's floor set in season two. We made it from a square shape to a round shape. It's such a useful piece to have to light our space and actors. LexCorp Tower is also a very high-tech place, but it serves a different purpose compared to Star Labs. If Star Labs' mission is to help humanity, LexCorp Tower is there to take over humanity. There's this really amazing drawing of Lex Luthor in his glass box office overlooking Metropolis, like a villain looking over his own kingdom in a way. And uh, that's where we start the design of, of LexCorp, essentially. The space feels large, high, tall ceiling, but there's a sense of loneliness in the space as well. And it's cold and it's foreboding. That set was beautiful. And the view is just ridiculous, like the most beautiful Toronto view I've ever seen. Whenever there's light, there's gotta be darkness. So we start to see the other side of Metropolis. Welcome, this is the Temple of Azeroth. The Temple of Azeroth was definitely the coolest set we've had this season, maybe in the entire history of the show. The feeling you get when you walk in is palpable. It's a hellish place to be in. The Temple of Azeroth has this pool in the center of its stage that just looks like a cauldron of hell. Like it's like it's where Brother Blood goes into and comes out dripping. The Temple of Azeroth lies in the underbelly of Metropolis. In the comic book version, it's not evil at all because it is Raven's birthplace. But in ours, this temple has been corrupted by Trigonic magic. In the DC comic books, Azeroth has these beautiful golden raven sculptures in the temple because our version of the Temple of Azeroth is a lot darker. So why don't we take those ravens and turn them into something a bit more demonic? The temple is actually a refurbish of the Bat Cave from season three. And we used the exact same rock wall and we changed the color. What Khan was able to do is build in all these symbols of the cult inside the lighting scheme that goes up to that big round pool of blood. My favorite set this season is the RV set. Spoiler alert, we're not actually in an RV. We built a set. There's a lot of opportunities for travel and for us to appear like we're on the road, but we're really in the studio. It's so fun to be able to explore these imaginary cities that fans know so well. This season in particular, I like the look of a bit more because it's not as just dumpster fiery. <laughs> it's refined fire. It's beautiful, trigonic fire. 
Last season it was gritty and Gotham, whereas this season it's really magical and underground. What I love is watching our Titans together. I never get as excited as seeing all of them walk into frame standing by each other. You're like, wow, they are cool. I'm gonna go for a bath. <laughs>